started. Um, first of all, because we wanted to place this chair in a place of prominence in the medical center, we are in the main entryway. So we will have uh, visitors and veterans and patients coming through throughout our ceremony. So for those of you um, taking any photos, please, and those of you who might be in photos, please be aware that we are taking photographs. We want to respect the privacy of our patients who might be coming in and out. So please, um, there will be no photography uh, anywhere focused other than right here um, towards our ceremony, our chair. Uncover. Let us pray. Almighty Creator, who neither slumbers or sleeps, protect and assist. We beseech thee, all those who are at home or abroad, by land, by sea, or in the air, who are serving this country, that they be armed with thy defense, may be preserved evermore in all perils, and being filled with wisdom and girded with strength, may do their duty to thy honor and glory. We pause this day to remember some of our comrades and companions who are or have been prisoners of war. We ask comfort for them. We pray in their isolation from their homes and loved ones. Supply their needs. Protect them from want and deprivation. Strengthen and sustain them day after day, that they may face discouragement with courage and hardship with resolution. Grant that they may find patience to endure and peace in the knowledge of your continuing presence. Let us never forget the unanswered question, where are our brothers and sisters, our prisoners of war? our missing in action. Until this question is answered, we lift them up to you in this moment, never forgetting that their absence is not one of choice, but rather one which emulates duty, honor, and country. In the name of all that is holy, we pray. Amen.
to remain the same. citizen as well, served almost eight years as a prisoner of war. He had many public acts of defiance and patriotism that embodied the sacrifices of American POWs. He said, if I had known when I was shot down that I would be here more than seven years, I would have died of despondency and despair. But I did. It was one minute at a time, one hour, one week, one year, and so on. If you look at it like that, Anybody can do anything, and he endured. It's about faith in yourself and your family and your country and your God. It's the will to survive that's really powerful. It's what sustains us. From my own POW experience, I can tell you that we were tested often with physical and emotional experiences on a daily basis. Fear and punishment, loneliness, starvation, boredom. However, one thing we never felt was abandonment. We strove to endure and today's ceremony is a vivid reminder of our commitment to a full accounting of our missing 
and to never forget. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today at the former Michael J. Krizen's VA Medical Center, we would like to recognize some of our veteran heroes who fought for our freedom, and we also remember those who lost their lives and those who became prisoners of war or missing in action. With all veterans who are comfortable and able to do so, please stand or raise your hand. Thank you. 